Hey guys, it's Colt here, and today I'm finally bringing you a Vorgeth guide for the Shadow Throne solo. Uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, the hardest encounter, so make sure you go in with as much ammo and uh, full super, grenades, all that. Um, so before we start, just try to imagine like a baseball diamond between the four bases. Uh, home plate would be where you first drop down, second base would be directly adjacent from you, and then first on your right, third on your left. Um, might be just easier to imagine one at the beginning and then go counterclockwise but whatever you want um, so let's get into the video now and uh, we'll continue this all right guys so at uh, each of the bases there's going to be a yellow bar wizard with a void shield uh, this is very important because we're using the recluse here um, and you're also going to have a group of very aggravating ads um, they have little bubbles they pop up they try to shield the boss with gaze so um, definitely don't like underestimate them and they also can snipe you so this is why coverage is very important uh, in this encounter as you can see I'm already getting let down pretty well so uh, these two pillars right here try to start like wedging yourself between them um, and rotating between them as well uh, so you can try to like not get blasted by Vorgeth and also uh, so you don't get hit by the wizards uh, when the wizards finally do spawn, prepare to take out the adds behind you that pop out of the wall, then wait for like good positioning. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of just running around here looking for that positioning and uh, to take out the rest of the adds. Alright, so once all the adds are out of the way, you can start to try to take down the wizard shield. Um, it is void shield, so recluse will be a lot better, even at higher ranges that usually can't hit. Um, it is up to you if you want to fully kill the first wizard, or just get it low. Getting your health low is a much safer option, as there is no time limit then put on you um, until you actually kill one. As you can see right there, I just decided to take that wizard down because I had the positioning and I had the shot open. I wasn't getting hit by the ogre, so I started there instead. Sometimes you'll just have to try to improvise uh, with whatever they're throwing at you. So, um, But as soon as you pick up one of those orbs, there's going to be a time limit going down starting I think at 45. So that's why it is kind of difficult to kill the wizards all in one go rather than just one leave one weak. Alright, so you're just going to want to repeat this process, go around in a clockwise or counterclockwise manner until you can get all the wizards down and you have four of the, like you've collected four of the balls. Uh, it'll say, I think, Petitioner's Burden once you have all four and you're ready to damage. So just wait until you have that uh, debuff in the bottom left, I think, and get ready for damage. If you have a smoke bomb, you're going to want to use it here to shield yourself um, as you bank the debuff. If you do not have one, try to bank it on one that has proper coverage against Vorgith's um, ridiculous blast. Uh, it will actually knock you off and kill you at the same time, so you're going to absolutely need cover here. Before you start shooting the boss, make sure that you've taken out the Axion darts, unless you start damaging in a super, then you can kind of just ignore them. If you manage to actually kill the boss in one phase, then congratulations, it's now time for some platforming and the final boss. If you did not kill the boss, make your way back to the first pillar or wherever you start and get ready to do another cycle. Remember, this encounter can be very random uh, with how it is completed, so if something isn't working, don't be afraid to depart from this strategy and try something else. Uh, it's going to take some patience, uh, but it can be done.
Alright guys, that is it, and thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Uh, my next upload's probably gonna be my solo flawless run with no commentary, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.